So first of all, congratulations on the film. It's very emotional and heartfelt. Thank, um, thanks very much. It is one of those stories where, as actors, we feel like the normal kind of flattery for you know acting and stuff it has no place here. This is a story way bigger than any of us. When you're enacting a script about one of the worst days in the history of Mumbai, how do you get into that mind frame? Well, acting is just its imagination. You know, and I remember when the attacks happened, I remember watching it unfold in real time on television, thinking, what's going on behind those walls? And they have no police, they have no army, nobody's rescuing these guys, and they're, they're trapped behind them with terrorists. What could possibly be going on? And uh, it turns out what was going on was both unimaginably horrific, but also incredibly inspiring and human. And uh, so that's what we do as actors. We, we, it's all what if. What if I was somewhere? What if I was in this situation? Right. How much pressure did you feel to represent the victims on screen? Uh, and there's an enormous pressure when, when you're telling a real life story. It's happened to me at least once before. I was in a film called Black Hawk Down mm -hmm. about uh, a, a night in Mogadishu when the American Rangers were uh, lost so many people. And uh, you know, there, are, there are survivors and there are families of the dead. And, uh, and you feel a keen responsibility, of course, to those people to be, to be honest and authentic and not to pull any Hollywood nonsense uh, on screen. But also, there's a, a responsibility to, to Mumbai, to the staff of the hotel, to India, but in a far bigger way, there's a responsibility to, to let the message that, you know, that emerged from this extraordinary display of humanity and bravery and courage, to let it pass through us and, 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 and tell the story well enough that people watch and understand that it just affirms that human beings, there's far more that unites us than divides us. Right. And, and so we all felt like, there was something to be said here that could affect people. And we, did to make sh we needed to make sure we didn't mess it up. Do you, do you get a chance to visit the Real Taj Palace Hotel? I did. I visited the Real Taj and uh, we shot uh, a bunch of stuff in Mumbai as well. We shot the interiors mm -hmm. in Adelaide in Australia. Uh, it's a spectacular place and one of the most spectacular things is how quickly they rebuilt and reopened and many of the staff went back to work there as if to send a message to uh, people who think you can destroy democracy and right. destroy uh, the West, it's not the West, isn't it? but you can destroy peace but with bombs and bullets and you can't do it. Right. And your character's transitions a bit throughout in the face of trauma, doesn't he? Well, he's a terrible man. He's a monstrously <laughs> elitist, rich, exploitative uh, right. oligarch and extremely selfish and, and concerned only with himself, his money and his, his pleasure and, uh, and not likely ever to lend a helping hand or be useful to anybody else. He's the kind of person you would imagine in an emergency would, would look after himself first and only. One of the reasons they were drawn to tell this story is that many people did uh, extraordinary things, found out things about themselves and behaved in ways that give the lie to the nonsense we're told about how people are ultimately selfish. Right. How important is it to bring this story to a wider screen? I don't know if any story is important. It's a film. Um, you know, it's important to feed people and to eradicate disease <laughs> uh, uh, and, and to let people be safe in their beds at night. But, in so much as stories have some useful purpose in society, this is, this is right at the end of the spectrum where, you know, that, that it has something valuable. You're not only gripped for two hours and moved, you leave with some faith in humanity. You leave thinking, you know, we're actually better than we're told we are. Right. Thank you so much for chatting with us. This was amazing. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.